Barak, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Barak means to bless, Yahweh means he who, who exists, Bahashem means in the name, Yahweh Shah means he who delivers. Shout out to the hopeful let that is spread throughout the four corners of the earth. So the title of this video is The Curses Upon Israel. The Curses Upon Israel, I'm referring to the book of Deuter Deuteronomy, which is pursuant to the Deuteronomy 28 chapter, verse 15. Which states, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voices of Yahweh by shall show thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statute, which I command thee this day, that all the, these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if Israel do not follow the commandments, then they will receive all the curses which I will be explain, explaining. So Deuteronomy 28, chapter verse 16, Curse shall, shall thou be in the city, curse shall thou be in the field. So the city referring to Babylon the Great, which is where the um, so-called Negroes are currently at, and so-called Mexicans, so-called Native Indians. And rest of Israel is currently like scattered upon Babylon, throughout Babylon. They failed it referring to the rest of the world. Deuteronomy 28, chapter verse 17, verse 17, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So the basket and the store referring to their bank, the bank account and will not be able to prosper. So as you can see that the um, Israel today um, currently lives in paycheck by paycheck, not prospering. And if they are, if Israel, if they are prospering because a lot of um, doing wickedness or doing something that is completely going off, Again, going to also want to bring out another structure really quick. Um, Salakia, Deuteronomy 28, verse, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So, again, so called Negroes, in the firm, so called Negroes, Mexicans. Native, Native American Indians, Seminole Indians, Dominican Haitians, those are all proverbs and bywords. The so called Negroes are the nation of the, the so called Negroes, Amy, is really the tribe of Judah and the and Mexicans in the tribe of Ishakar. 
and Native American the tribe of Cat and Seminole Indian the tribe of Reuben. And there's another few more scriptures that I'm gonna get here shortly. Um I want to get the curses um, that refer to the upon out the women of um, of the Israel Israel. There with me. I want to get the the first that refer to the baldness that will be Isaiah three seventeen. Therefore, the Lord will smite with the scab of the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And the and Yahweh by shall shall disturb their secret parts. So the scab of the crown of the head of the daughter of Zion, referring to the baldness, the so-called black women are the only women that have had to wear weaves, that weaves or stretches that have because they they have short hair. Um, which is not the not how um, our the nation of, of the other Israel is, is our women is supposed to be um, you know beautiful. They're supposed to have short. They're supposed to have long hair, glorious hair. Um, as pursuant to. One Corinthians C eleven fifteen, but if a woman have a long hair, it is glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. A woman hair. This is the reason why you see a lot of women in today's society wearing the long wigs, long braids, because it's in their spirit to have long hair. And to want to wear that long weed and that long hair, if they pride, they pride on to, and they pride and enjoy it upon the to the other like women to have that long delicate hair. But due to the commandments and statutes not being followed, there was a curse that was put upon our women's today's um, world. Um, then I want to get another verse where referring to the Ezra being sold into slavery. Deuteronomy 28, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and they do and thy daughters shall be given to unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. 
and there should be no might in thy head. So during slavery of either the northern or southern Kino of Israel, there was nothing that the Israelites could do to stop the atrocities that were happening to them. Uh, children being sold into slavery, parents being sold, uh, women being raped. Um, and then there's a one specific um, scripture that I want to get as well. Deuteronomy 28, chapter 28, verse 36. Yah, Bashar shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt sit over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. So the entire nation, um, entire nation of Israel, no spirit was put in slavery, um, and they should, well, they should serve other gods. So their idols, images, God that does not exist. Um, that the of how do not know of. Deuteronomy twenty eight chapter forty nine Yahbashan shall shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flies nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So they first happened with the Roman and now referring to the Americans when the um when the Israel when the um when uh, the um Romans ancient Rome had brought um Israel into captivity. So now is referring to the modern day Roman Empire, which is the American, um, which whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So the Israelites didn't understand the Latin or English that the um the people from Europe um, was speaking um, that. Because if the like have their own language, own we live in own culture culture, we did, did not understand what the other did not understand the English. Let me see if there's one more. There's one more that I want to bring up. Um, do turn me, do turn me. The 28th chapter, verse 8. And Yahweh shall, shall, shall bring thee into Egypt again with the ships. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. There ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So Egypt again. Is representing the bondage, bondage, a uh, place of slavery. So the this this scripture is not referring to the ancient Egypt because Israel to Egypt in the ancient world would be a walking distance, so it could not. And this and it says that again, and Yahweh shall shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So. What is the only way to get to the 
North America or to the America right now is by ships or by planes, but planes didn't exist in, back in the ancient world. So the only way to get to the modern day Egypt or America was by ship. And and ye should be sold unto your enemies. So all the nations that either was a slave under their enemies. And then no man should buy you, meaning no man would save you, no man would would redeem you. Then Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies should lie in the street of the great city, which especially is called Sodom and Egypt, which are also our Lord was crucified. So America is spiritually Sodom because it holds all the homosexuality that Sodom did. And Egypt because of slavery. And you can see that by looking at the back of the one daughter bill. The word the word Egypt is great for bondage. And the Palo Hebrew term is Matozarium. The image of our Lord was crucified. So in Mercury, the place where the image of Caesar Borgia is pushed is so called like so-called Jesus Christ. Yeah, I want to get one more. Deuteronomy 28, chapter 48, no, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the, the which Yahweh shall, shall, shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So the yoke of iron is affirmed to being put in slaves in the American captivity and the wants of all things where we have to go to the wicked Esau Edom um, for he wants all things for so for food, uh, money, clothes, uh, cars to go places to travel who we have to go to the government, the no. Two for once of all things. So Ezra has been brought to a low to a low um has been brought to a low a low state. Um again because uh verse one to determine to turn to turn twenty eight chapter fifteen, not upholding the statutes going on, not following the commandments of the Lord. And I believe I want to get one more before I close out. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight. First forty six, I believe, and that they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses 
or a clue of who the real Israelites are. Um, we are the only nation that has been brought low. The only nation that has been sold into slavery and it's still currently in slavery. Just doesn't have a yoke of iron or, you know, walk around um you know with but we're still in slavery, we're still in captivity. Um we still have to go to Esau, eat them for the once of all things. So we're very much still under the, the curses. Um, we've had to turn 28 chapter verse 15 is referring to. So I hope this lesson is what edifying. Until the next time, shalom.